So hi everyone. Um, I'm just back with my weekly vlog of writing and um, I just wanted to like let you know that I finished the self edits for the book and I am feeling good about it but I just need to save money for an editor. But in the meantime I'm, I'm working on my other work in progress is Project Beautiful and Project Odor. So those are working out fine. Project Beautiful is not still in the beginning stages of it, but I'm still working on it, so it should be fine. But other than that, everything else is, I'm just trying to, trying to find my next plans and moves, moves moving forward about what I want to do with the, the work in progress that I have and when will I publish them and stuff like that. But other than that, I think I'm fine. I know my Kickstarter is, not gonna it's not doing the best and it's probably gonna fail but anyways i am happy that i at least tried and i'm happy for the people that donated at least even though it's not gonna i'm not gonna get the money because it's an all or nothing thing where you only get the money if you get, if you reach the funding goal but i'm i'm happy at least that i tried and i stepped out of my comfort zone to ask for money I mean, I know it's a hard subject asking for money because some people might say that, oh, you're scamming and you're trying to get people to, to help you out even though you, you might, they think that you might not need it. But, um, I'm just trying to like help myself out and ask for help when I need it. So, you know, I know that it's not the end for me. I'm going to save up money and God, God will make a way for me even if I don't see it right now. But yeah. So hi everyone. Um I just have a question. So do you have a playlist that you use when you're writing your book or a playlist for your book like the themes of your book like cuz I wanted to know cuz I see that some people say that they make, they create playlists for their books and they have like songs that match what is going on in the book. So I wanted to know do you also have the same and if so like how do you how did you come about doing that also what is your favorite thing about writing because my favorite thing about writing is just being able to express myself and in a way that i understand and other people might understand and to just talk about relatable experiences i mean i think i like more of the fiction where it's like realistic about your everyday life and things that go on more than fantasy and stuff because I, I don't, my mind can't wrap my mind in, into doing stuff like that. But I like talking about real life experiences. So I just wanted to know, like, what is your favorite thing about writing? For those of you who publish wide, why did you decide to publish wide versus um, using one print on demand publisher? Because I'm before for my first book I did um Amazon only and I used their free ISBN and stuff, but I realized that I was very limited and I wasn't getting enough sales and stuff. So I just realized that I was gonna keep my first book in Kindle Unlimited and use the other and then for my second book I was going to do something else. Like I was gonna publish it wide. I realized that publishing my book wide will allow me to reach a more bigger audience and also it will diversify my income. So I'm just wondering, like, what made you publish your book wide? And also, like, if you can give me some tips down in the comments about what um, how I can go about moving forward and what plan on demand or what other websites I can use. Because I heard of Kobo and I'm really interested in that. Kobo, Barnes & Nobles, um... Google Play, um, Apple Books, and so on. So I'm just wondering. So hi, everyone. Um, I was just wanted to talk a little bit about the Stephen King on writing book. Um, I made a little dent into it. Like, I haven't read a whole bunch, but I've read enough. And um, I took away that, that he kind of failed a little bit in the beginning with his writing because he would send it into magazines and places and he would get um he would get rejected or they would get send it back and say that he needed to not staple the the paper or some 
situation would happen, but he never gave up. And I just wanted to encourage you or my and myself to never give up on your dreams, to continue to do what you have to do in order to, for your dreams to come to fruition and to never let your doubts to make you think that you cannot do something that you're really passionate about. Because right now I'm really passionate about writing and I know that it's going to take some time. Sometimes I might not feel, I might feel discouraged, but I want to keep going and keep encouraging myself to keep going because I, I felt inspired by Stephen King because even though he had a lot of rejections, he never let that stop him until he finally got that one publication. So, you know, it's really um, that his first publication, not one, but um, that's good. And yeah, I'm about to get my author copies for my book. So when I get it, I'll show you. So guess what, everyone? I finally got my author copies. It took me a while because I think I ordered it in Fe on February 25th and I didn't get it until March 7th. That was a long time for me waiting for my book. And I was, and then I think I called um, Amazon and talked to them about the, um, about them not shipping my book out in time. But I mean, I don't have a deadline for my book to be um, shipped. The I mean, my first book, Jar of Positivity, because it's already out already, but I I just wanted I was just eager to see how the formatting went, but it it went perfectly fine. Like so I only see one ever one thing that I need to fix, but um I think I might not fix it because it doesn't seem like it's a, a noticeable issue. But um other than that, I'm just so happy, and I'm showing you um how the book looks and everything and i think that vellum is a very good software to use if you're a beginner or somebody who who is going to publish multiple books but it's really nice so i'm happy that i'm happy about how it came out and how it looks it's it's more different because the formatting added more pages because it added more blank pages so that it can be the correct um way i guess but it's it's nice and i like it so if you're interested in purchasing the book i will leave it in the description box below and yeah the book is a 21 day devotional meant to help you to be your, um actualize yourself full potential and be your best self so if you like books like that consider checking it out